Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at some US medium tank prototypes from the 1920s. The M1921 medium tank, sometimes referred to as the medium tank A, was developed at Rock Island Arsenal in the beginning of the 1920s. The M1921 was the US's first post-war medium tank, developed by Major Levin Campbell, who patented the layout for the T1 in 1925. The tank was influenced by contemporary British designs. It weighed in at 23 tonnes and was manned by a four-man crew. Equipped with an M1920 2.24 inch or 57mm gun in the main turret and a Browning M1919 tank machine gun in the cupola above. Early iterations were underpowered, but more powerful engines were installed in later prototypes. One was fitted with a 75mm gun and changes to the tracks and suspension were made. Eventually, in 1928, it was recommended for adoption as the M1 medium tank, but was finally rejected as the US tank arm abandoned the various medium tank designs they'd been working on and shifted towards cheaper light tanks. The film features a demo of an infantry attack, supported by mechanised artillery, towed by tractors, and tanks including an older Mark 8 heavy. Check out our video on the Mark 8 if you haven't already, and a pair of new M1921 medium tanks. There aren't too many photos available of the tanks, so finding this footage was pretty exciting. The footage itself dates from the early 1920s and was filmed at an ordnance demo at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds. And here's a bonus, West Point cadets taking a look inside a T2 medium tank, developed from a Vickers design. The T2 weighed 15.5 tonnes and was armed with a 47mm gun. And here's a Christie tank, demonstrating its speed when using its road wheels. During the late 20s and early 30s, John Walter Christie developed some interesting tank designs around his influential suspension system, which allowed for much faster cross-country speeds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.